One project that I've actually lingered in Nigeria by the federal government, it's a project that has been carried out by the federal government that has lingered more than every other project, and that is uh, the refineries in Nigeria not working. We were told severally that they will get working very soon, especially when this administration came into office. We were promised it was going to work in uh, December, especially that of Port Harcourt, but it never did until Dangote came up with a refinery. And now we have a refinery in Nigeria and everyone is excited about it. And now, is the refinery working or not? And why is it not working? Welcome to Review This Beautiful Day. My name is Ramsey Enoch. And of course, we want to talk about the fact that this refinery is not working and the reason why it is not working is it that some persons are becoming sabotaged to this very beautiful project. Joining me on the conversation this morning is Michael ekenedi Chuku. Hello, Michael. Good morning, It's Ramsey. good to have you. Good to be here. Barikali Salah to our Muslim fans. Yes, all the Muslim faithfuls are celebrating today's public holiday, mm -hmm. but we have to be here. Yeah, because be here. people at home right now are watching their television and a lot of people are on Oweleke TV right now. It's good that you are there. So let's talk about this refineries. On one of the papers this morning, modular refineries are saying they are throwing their support behind Dangote, but then they need the intervention of the federal government, the president to be specific. And um, we know that if these modular refineries begin to work additional to Dangote refinery, even though Dangote refinery is yet to get crude from the IOCs, what do you think would happen if the federal government threw their back, okay? Or if they give their support, support to support, yeah. um, the modular refineries. Do you think it will be a nice one? It will be a splendid one, a fantastic one. If the federal government goes all out and supports uh, the vision and plans of Dangote Refinery. Uh, remember speaking from the Bahamas where Dangote is attending African Bank annual meeting, he stressed the fact that he has been trying to get this thing kick-started, mm. but then he never envisaged that the same mafias, he called them oil merchants that are called mafias in the drug industry. They are also in the oil sector. So we have drug Drug, drug, drug mafias, lords, drug and lords, drug mafias, and oil lords or oil oh, mafias. Oh, we, all, we also have oil lords. No wonder the president said uh, the subsidy has to re be removed because some elites of elites are mm. behind <laughs> the subsidy. And sir, they have been holding this country to hostage. Mm. How can how can these people be stronger than presidency? Are they stronger than Nigerians? The question is no. Except, are you sure they are not even part of the system? Part of the system. That's that's what I'm talking about. When he's when, when president was talking about Nigerians making sacrifices for the nation, our, our leaders making sacrifices for the growth and progress of this nation, how can international oil companies hold a whole nation to hostage, sir? We are the ones that and are they are functioning in the same country. They are functioning in this country. How can they be fighting Dangote? Remember, Echa Idoko, who is the spokesperson of the Crude Oil Owners Association of Nigeria stress the fact that, sir, they face severe challenges even during the COVID. These mm. people try to put them on default when they try to access loans. Mm. And he said, kudos to Afrexin Bank that came to the rescue. Mm. Thank if, you, Afrexin Bank. If Thank not, you, Afrexin Bank. If Good not, one. this modular vision would have been dead on arrival. And, and then what he said, hey, hey guys, I've been fighting this guy tooth and nail. They do not even care about the progress of Nigerian economy. They don't even care about the betterment of this economy. Why are uh, why is this country crumbling? Inflation on food, transportation, electricity. Sir, they all they all culminated from the genesis of fuel pump price inflation. That mm. affects the whole economy. It cripples the whole economy. These guys keep playing the ostrich. But then, what can we do? Presidency should take this seriously. We but why is the presidency? Why is the federal government not the presidency this time? Why is the federal, federal government, government quiet? Over these activities. So we have so many illegalities in this country. Corruption has been endemic. Can you wipe it all off? The answer is no. Where do we start? We have to start from these people, these leaders who, who we gave mandate to rule us and make this country better. Hold them to the neck. Because, sir, if petroleum motor spirit, PMS, comes down, the price comes down, that means what we are crying, the prices of food and commodities will yeah, yeah, sure. we instantaneously be positively affected. And we'll start having, you know, 
people beginning to afford food, commodities in the markets right now, sir. <laughs> we know many things. Uh, all of us know what's happening. You even don't the Muslim even go faithfuls, to the market. Even the Muslim faithfuls, in our paper, in our papers today, they yeah, a lot out, of people they were can't crying. Afford ram. They couldn't, yeah, they can't afford Some rice. couldn't even afford rice. To no eat. tomatoes, no pepper in the market. Nothing. And Nothing. these people are allowing these cabals to take surge. Federal government should deal with it, sir. We have drug lords, you know, growing in this country. They are feeding fat. Now they are the ones riding oil, the expensive cars. Oil lords. Now it's oil lords. Then go to call them mafias. Mafias. And you tackled? know, when they say someone is a mafia, you know what it means? Meaning these people are ready to they go to any strong. length they're and they are strong. very strong mm. and they have a collaboration yeah, within themselves. So I think marketing. what the federal government mm. should do is to make sure this. Um, th these people are being brought to book. They shouldn't make the people feel like they are stronger, they are than, stronger the than, than the federal government. government yeah. So, except if there are some persons in government that even have hand in this thing, because for the president to say elite of the elite, it means these people are known. And if these people are known, if the mafians are known, if the cabas are known, if the lots are known, if the elites are already known, like we will always say, mm. if the people who are responsible for bandits are known, then we shouldn't have bandit issue anymore. Same thing that is applicable to these oil lords. If they are known, the federal government should fight them tooth and nail so that at least there will be peace in this country so that so our economy can rise again. We can remember how people like uh, blessed memory Dora Akunyeli tried Akunyeli. to fight the drug oh. lords and she could not live to, you know, to tell the story. So many people have lost their lives trying to fight this cabal. So Dan Gote knows it but he said he's strong spirited and is ready to see his refinery kicks. Remember, he spent about nineteen billion dollars. And part of this money, some maybe loaned. Mm. You understand? Absolutely. It could be that he loaned some of this mm -hmm. money. He mm -hmm. took loans. He took loans. You know, nineteen billion dollars. So, he, so this much refinery money. needs to work so it that he can to. pay back this it loan. Needs to. Remember, it, it has helped in bringing down the price of gasoline. Already. Already. Yeah, already. So, sir, just look at the significant impact it will have in our economy. In our economy, when this refinery starts, both modular and conventional are backing Dangote up. So why don't the federal government come out and say, "Hey, we are ready to tackle poverty and the price, the, the inflation in the country, and take this seriously because we need this to be done we as need soon it as to possible, be done. Yeah. as soon as possible." Please, federal government, do something about it. These people are not stronger. They might have the backing of some people, some strong people in this country. Of course, you know that they say you don't fight the cabals, but this can be for Tinubu can take this seriously and make. No, we we believe in this administration. Yeah. We believe we know what the president can hope. do. Renew hope. Let the hope be renewed. And this is where it's supposed to start from because this is one thing that affects almost everyone. If the cabals are already known, the lords are already known. They should be handled and dealt with. Let them go refinery begins to work so that at least the economy can be boosted a little bit even if everything cannot happen overnight this is where we need this the is DSS where we EFCC. need the dss the efcc and every other agency that needs to go after these corrupt people and this is where the sacrifices should come in Absolutely. people should do everything possible especially the leaders to fight these cabals who are not in any way stronger than the federal government and the citizens of this country. Thank you very much, Michael, for Thank coming you, around, for adding anytime, your voice to the anytime. conversation today. And this is going to be the size of the review for this morning. So we are looking forward to when Dangote Refinery will start working and there will be petrol everywhere they for told us people June. to let's, use. They said June. June. We are waiting. Yeah. June is still here. By the end of June, we should have Dangote Refineries working and IOCs should start supplying crude to Dangote Refineries immediately. This is going to be the size of the review by the Mr. Ramsey will come on your way again same time, same station tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.